All right, another day in Quartzsite. Um, we had to move campsites because the other campsite that we were at was not that great with the uh, cell signal. So there was a bunch of mountains and stuff and uh, it was blocking the cell signal. But I kind of like this area a little bit better where we're at right now. It's a little bit more secluded and great cell signal. So just wanted to make this video because I know a lot of people uh, I had a couple of emails and uh, some of the emails were asking why was I in Quartzsite, especially in January when it's pretty busy. And you guys know I have social anxiety and I don't do very well with a, around a lot of people. Um, and January is the busiest month out here in Quartzsite. So yeah, funny I'd be out here the busiest month where millions of people come for this whole entire month. But I am out here for a certain reason. So this is the busiest month. It is fellow travelers out here, people doing exactly what I'm doing, whether it be in an RV, a tent, a van, a car, foot, whatever. They're still travelers just like me. So this is going to be a way for me to meet fellow people. Um, and talk to fellow people. And also, as you guys know, this past year since I've had my channel, I've done really hard trying to build my channel and I've done pretty good in one year, yay! <laughs> but I still continue every day to, to try to build my channel and get those numbers up. And so I figure being out here in Quartzsite amongst fellow travelers, millions of them, is a perfect place for me to go around, introduce myself, hand out cards, uh, hand out stickers, and uh, my logo is on my Jeep. And I think I've already noticed a difference in my numbers because of that right there. So that's helped out a lot. So yeah, uh, tomorrow there's an event out here um, at the RTR that Bob Wells throws and it's a show your rig event and so I'm going to that and I'm going to set my Jeep up and everything and uh, show my my rig and hopefully that's going to be a good way to meet people and them see my my channel and all that too and also if there's anybody out here that does follow my channel already it's going to be a good way for me to say hi to y'all because I do love meeting y'all so so yeah, so that's the whole reason why I'm out here. You know, I really enjoy what I'm doing. I am blessed to be able to do it. And uh, I just wanna continue to be able to do it. I, I foresee myself, I know I was picking up jobs here and there and working here and there, but um, I was making it work for me to be able to do stuff like this. Now I've figured out that I can do this. I just have to live very minimalist, um, like very minimalist. And I can do this without having to pick up those jobs right now. If, if I need to pick up a job for extra money, I will, I know I will. But I'm happy just traveling around the states and being able to do this and see all these places and nature and everything. Um, that's, that's what's making me happy right now. And I've told you guys multiple times, I've never been this happy before in my whole entire life. Um, it's helped me work on a lot of things uh, mentally and everything and my past and stuff. And uh, I, continue want, I continue want to do that journey of happiness with me. And this is the way that I can do it to be homeless, <laughs> living in my Jeep and traveling around and seeing mother nature everywhere. So that's why I'm trying to continue building my channel, continue building my numbers. And I'm taking, you know, well, I'm still in nature right now being in Quartzsite, but I'm around a lot of people, which is my not normal thing to do. But I have a reason why I'm here. And that's the reason why. So yeah, I'm gonna be here for a couple more weeks and uh, 
that's about it. So now I have to, I'm pulling everything out of my Jeep right now and rearranging my whole entire Jeep because I'm putting my Jeep in the show your rig show tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm doing today is rearranging my whole Jeep and trying to make it look nice and get ready for tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> Okay, so I went this morning to go take a shower and the place where I went to go take a shower is also a laundromat. So if you're looking for a place to go take a shower, do laundry in Quartzsite, I highly suggest Main Street Laundromat and showers. So since I was there, I went ahead and washed all my bedding and it's a lot of bedding so I needed to wash my bedding anyways so all my bedding is off right now because I washed it and now I'm about to put my bed back together with fresh blankets and stuff <laughs> so I have a sheet right here on my little mattress so then I have I have this wool blanket. I'm yelling because I don't know if you guys can hear me. <laughs> so I have this wool blanket and I put the wool blanket over the sheet. So it's the bottom of where I'm sleeping. So the wool blanket, when I sleep on top of the wool blanket, it actually keeps from uh, from the cold, the coldness outside coming up through the, the thin mattress that I have here. So it actually works pretty good. So I put the wool blanket on and then I put my zero degree sleeping bag on top of the wool blanket. And then inside the zero degree sleeping bag, if I know it's going to be cold, I put the electric blanket inside of the zero degree sleeping bag. And then on top of my sleeping bag, I have an 800 fill count comforter. And then that goes on top of the sleeping bag. So for all you guys that were wondering, how do I stay warm? That's how I stay warm. And it definitely works. Sometimes I have to take that comforter off my sleeping bag because I get so warm. And I've never once had to sleep with the electric blanket on all night long, so. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna put my bed back together, so. you guys can see that's a lot of work <laughs> a lot of work because <laughs> I have a little bit of OCD-ness also so I have to make sure everything is straight 
so yeah I won't be taking those out again for a while <laughs> So, I got my Jeep ready, at least the inside. The outside is dirty, but unfortunately there's no car washes here in Quartzsite, so sucks I can't get her all nice and shiny and pretty for this show your rig event tomorrow. But yeah, I got everything uh, done on the inside, so that's good. But while I was doing everything, I thought it would be nice to show you guys um, some of the things that I like the most that I think is almost like must-haves for you to have when you're traveling um, so yeah so I'm gonna show you guys what some of the stuff that I have that's uh, I think is pretty important and very useful for me in case you guys are considering doing this yourself so and it doesn't necessarily have to be stuff for the Jeep it could be for a car a van or whatever so yeah um obviously and this was in my last video this is a must-have it's a little pricey but this was a gift to me so for christmas and oh my god thank you so much to the person that gave me this this is definitely nice to have so now i don't have to because i love my coffee now I don't have to pull out my stove, my camping stove, hook the propane up to it, and boil the water, which takes a little bit longer to do. Now all I gotta do is just pull this little handy thing out. Jet boil. <laughs> and uh, put the water in there, and it boils. Filled to the top, it boils within like two minutes. And then voila, I have hot water for my coffee. Which, if you're a coffee person, I'm, I'm on a hill, so I have to like prop my tailgate. <laughs> if you're a coffee person, this is another thing I recommend, the French press. Definitely. So you put the hot water in the coffee in here, press it down so the grounds aren't into your in your coffee. <sighs> yes, lifesaver right here. The spare trash bag. Now, even if you don't have a Jeep or a truck, you know, somewhere to hang it on your, your spare tire, even if it's just a car or something, highly recommend one of these. Especially if you do a lot of camping in BLM, because obviously in BLM, there's no dumpsters. Or no trash cans so you have to pack it in pack it out meaning pack your trash out before I had this I was putting my trash bags inside my Jeep then you got to smell the trash while you're driving until you find uh, a trash can or a dumpster or something this has been a lifesaver so because a lot of places that I stay up does not have dumpsters or trash cans so i just put it in this bag and it's pretty insulated so if you did have this bag inside your vehicle it would still cover like the smells and everything from your trash so this is a must-have okay this is going to be a double one <laughs> fridge definitely a fridge <laughs> so much better than a cooler where the ice melts and so on forth and I had a, I have a Yeti cooler which I don't have with me right now but so much better even than the Yeti cooler and then the Jackery or whatever solar generator you want to get doesn't necessarily have to be a Jackery but I plug the fridge has a regular plug and then a 12 volt plug. So when I'm driving around, I plug the 12 volt into my cigarette lighter. And then when I'm not driving around, I plug the 12 volt into my Jackery. And I can leave this 
from 100% on this Jackery, I can charge my fridge for about, probably about three days almost. And it is a 500 watt Jackery. And then I also have a 240 watt Jackery, which it also charges my fridge too. And that will charge probably about a day and a half. So that's very handy. And then I do have solar panels and the solar panels obviously are very good to have because of the fact that when my jackeries get low hopefully they're sun and I just charge my jackeries right up and I have two 100 watt solar panels and then I have a smaller solar panel. So the smaller solar panel, if I need to charge both of my jackeries at the same time, my smaller solar panel I use for the small jackery, and then my two 100 watt solar panels, I have a connector where I connect them together and it charges that 500 watt one up like nothing. So that's good. But then, let's see, is it on this side? I can't remember. I'm oh, yeah, because I'm charging something. Then these little battery packs right here. I have four of these battery packs. These are for when I need to charge my cell phone or my batteries to my GoPro. Yeah. So I don't have to use um, the jackeries for my cell phone or for the batteries and these charge them right up these are great this one right here let me unwrap it this one is a solar one i have two solar ones and then two regular ones so when this one gets low just like solar panels lay it out and let it recharge haven't had any issues with these yet so and i've had two of these battery packs for a couple of years from when I used to do a lot of camping and everything. So those, those are definitely uh, some must-haves that I highly suggest. So then I have my little Dollar Tree bag. It's not zipped up all the way because I didn't want to be doing that on camera. This thing is amazing. Open it up all my toiletries that I use with Tasha. Hi Tasha, hi baby. <laughs> so yeah, vitamins, soap, deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste. And it's really small. It just folds right up. Bam, and zip it up. That's pretty handy. I think I'll save for another video of me going around showing you guys everything in my Jeep and what I like about everything and every little piece about my little setup that I have. I know I've done a couple of videos of my setup and stuff, but I didn't really like go over each thing that I have in here. Um, and then maybe just a little bit more about my Jeep itself. So I'll save that for another video. Um, yeah. So I think I pretty much have a... Oh. Air freshener. <laughs> when you li live out of your vehicle, this is nice to have every once in a while. Make your vehicle smell fresh. <laughs> so, I think I'm all ready for tomorrow to go show off my rig. <laughs> my Jeep. Um, and meet a whole bunch of people. This video will be coming out um, right now in the morning as you guys are watching this. So I'm filming this right now on Thursday, but this video will be out on Friday morning. So the event is on Friday at one o'clock at the RTR. So if any of you guys, oops, if any of you guys are in courtside, and you're out here hanging out, 
and you happen to see this video, come to the RTR, wherever the Show Your Rig event is, because I don't even know where the event is. I tried to figure it out, but they wouldn't tell me. So I'm just getting there early tomorrow. But the Show Your Rig event is at 1 o'clock. I love, love, love meeting all you guys um, that watch my videos. It really means a lot to me meeting all you guys. So if you're here in Quartzsite, please come to the event tomorrow and come and look for my Jeep. She's not hard to miss. I'm not hard to miss. <laughs> and come find me and come say hi and introduce yourself. I'm going to have all my stickers with me also. So every time, it seems like almost every day I've been running into somebody. And every time that I've run into somebody, I give them a sticker. I'm not selling my stickers. The stickers that I have with me right now are to give out to all you guys and to other people so yeah come find me would love to meet you guys it is today because you guys are watching the video right now today and the event starts at one o'clock i don't know how long it goes for i'm assuming it just goes for a couple hours so yeah yay can't wait <laughs>